A battery. Yes. Move! This doesn't look like any battery I ever saw. Trust me, it is a battery. Or rather, one cell of a battery. <clears throat> Here, cut up the last two sponges. Remember the electrolytes? Huh? Well, think about it. A battery is a galvanic cell. It's no more than an anode and a cathode separated by an electrolyte, right? Right. Yeah, well, anyway. Here. On one side, you have mercuric oxide and graphite from your brake pads. This is the, the cathode, this is the, the positive terminal. This is where the, the supply of current flows out from, you see? Then, uh, here, I'll show you. On the opposite side is our anode. This. It's zinc. It's what we find in our, find in our coins and anything galvanized. So the, uh, the sponge is the electrolyte? Yeah, well, no, the potassium hydroxide is the electrolyte. But yes, that's what I'm soaking the sponges in. Good. <laughs> Good, and now, what shall we use to conduct this beautiful current with? Hmm? What one particular element comes to mind? Hmm? Uh, ah, yeah. wire. Yeah. Copper. Well, I mean, it's copper. The only question now is, will this supply enough current? And how many cells will we need? We've only got material enough for six. Okay. Put the lid on. Wait. Positive. <laughs> 